Hey everyone, Scott here coming to you from the beautiful Sydney. You can see here they're setting up for the Vivid Light Show. Opera House and Bridge, iconic in the background. Beautiful, sunny, wintry day. So I want to talk to you about what's going on in Perth. Perth has seen astronomical growth in house prices over the past 12 to 24 months. We've seen the average home go up from around about that $500,000, $550,000 mark for the average home in Perth to now about seven hundred to 750000 So I've been able to put about 1,400 of my clients into Perth during that time. They've enjoyed really good gains. And I get asked the question all the time, okay, so is Perth done? Is that it for Perth or is there more growth ahead? Well, the quick tip is that I am still personally buying in Perth. In fact, I'm looking to get between 30 and 40 homes myself in Perth. And the reason I wanna do that is because that there is going to be further price growth ahead. Now, not only has the price uh, growth been there, the capital growth been there, but in addition, the rents have gone up astronomically as well. So we've seen rents increase just in the last 12 months alone, somewhere between 10 and 20% depending on the suburb. So you might hear Perth went up about 13%. Some suburbs went up 20%. Some didn't go up as much. You've just got to know the right locations to actually buy in Perth. Now, what's actually happening in Perth at the moment is first home buyer sales are up. Investor sales from the East Coast are also up. But what's actually happening is that many of the land estates or the new land releases well, first of all, those new land releases are extremely limited. In fact, there are only about 500 to 600 blocks of land available to purchase in Perth right now. That is actually down by half. So same time last year, there was about 1,200 to 1,300 blocks of land. That's down to 600. Okay, so this represents a massive shortfall. This is why the vacancy rate in Perth is at or near 0%. Okay, call it 0%. I think it's like 0.3 or 0.4% right now, which accounts for frictional vacancy, which basically it's 0% it's vacancy. That's why the rents are continuing to grow. Now, Perth is going through a boom in terms of population, and they're projected to grow at the fastest rate of population growth. And a lot of things are changing in the Australian property market. So you've seen that it was always Sydney, then Melbourne, then Brisbane, Right now, the median house price in Brisbane is more than what it is in Melbourne. That will change. Um, I'm still investing in Melbourne. Long term, it will be there. But there's a bit of a shakeup going on. Now, it's likely that Perth will begin to challenge Brisbane. There's still much capital growth ahead. In fact, over the next three, four years, it wouldn't be surprising if the median house price in Perth starts to challenge that $1 million mark, okay? So there are still opportunities in Perth. The yields, the rental yields in Perth are still the best in the country. I mean, even though you may have missed 100, 200, maybe $300,000 of capital growth over the last two years, there is still more capital growth to come. So do not take Perth off of your radar. However, out of those 600 blocks of land which are left, I would say about 100, 150 of them are the prime positions that you want to be. And you've got to be very careful when negotiating on those blocks because there's a lot of tricks going on because the demand is increasing. So you want to avoid the wrong areas. You want to get into those right areas. And also building brand new right now is representing much better value than existing property because the auctions and the bidding and the silent bidding and the silent auctions are going behind the scene on existing property. It's pushing the prices up. So you're likely to overpay if you try and target an existing property. And also it's a really good thing. You're going to get the maximum tax deductions if you focus on brand new as well. Okay guys, hope this helps. For more videos like this, please click like and subscribe for more information around the property market. Thank you.